with the rise of the axial period, starting right around the 6th century BC, Greece and uh, India, what you found was something that you really didn't find in most of the religions up to that point. And that was the full-fledged discovery of emptiness, of a radical, infinite, open, pure emptiness. And this pure emptiness is in pure unmanifest reality, unmanifest spirit. Spirit without any qualities whatsoever. Spirit as Godhead or spirit as um, I am or spirit as Nirguna, meaning no qualities, Brahman. This discovery was behind the paths of the great liberation because discovering this pure emptiness gave you a freedom from all of your attachments and your pains and your sufferings in the manifest world. And the first attempt, once this uh, emptiness was discovered, was to just meditate your way into that emptiness, known as nirvana, and stay there. And we find this in uh, from Parmenides to the Yoga Sutras of Patanjali to Buddhism and early Buddhism and the uh, Vasudhamaga of uh, Buddha Gosha. And the whole point was to meditate and meditate and get increasingly out of the manifest realm so that there are no gross objects, no subtle objects, no causal objects, and just get into pure unmanifest awareness. And in that state of pure unmanifest awareness, you indeed will have no pain. You will have no suffering. You will not be present, in fact, to the world at all. And that was the goal of these great acts of religions, East and West, for a thousand years. But then there came in the East people like Nagarjuna, and the West people like Plotinus. And they said, but wait a minute, wait a minute, that hanging on to nirvana and getting rid of samsara, that's a profound realization, but it's only half true because it's, it doesn't have a, a completeness, a fullness, a wholeness, that there's a state beyond nirvana, which is separate from samsara, and this state is nirvana and samsara united. This is being both aware of samsara and aware of nirvana and being fully aware of both of these. And this is the rise of the great Mahayana and the rise of the great Madhyamaka and the rise of the non-dual traditions around the world. So as the Heart Sutra put it, that which is emptiness or nirvana is not other than form or samsara and that which is form is not other than emptiness. So instead of trying to get away from samsara, trying to get away from manifestation, and getting into unmanifest formless emptiness, the goal was then to come out of emptiness and find it one with all form, to find it one with the world of form. Emptiness is not something away from manifestation, but it's the very nature and condition of manifestation.